Good day, my amiable viewers. You are welcome back to my channel. For those of you that have been subscribing to this channel, I say kudos. God bless you all. And for those that have not started subscribing or liking this channel, please do well to start doing that. Thank you very much. In our today's talk, we are going to look at some calculations involving standard solution commonly encountered in chemistry. But before we go into those calculations, let's have a look at some technologies that we are going to get uh, that are going to be involved in it. The first one is standard solution. A standard solution is a solution whose concentration is accurately known, completely known. Why a molar solution is a solution which contains one mole or the molar mass of the compound in one DNK dot solution. That being said, let's go into the calculations properly. The first one, calculate the mass of potassium hydroxide. This formula is KOH. Needed to prepare total sink was 0 0.5 molar solution. One thing you must know first of all is to convert this 0 0.5 molar. This is the way chemists normally label their reagent bottle. So to do this, you must have to change this M, which is the molar solution, to the full expression. Now M 0 0.5 molar equals 0 0.5 mole per dm cube. Remember. This 0 0.5 mole is also equivalent to 0 0.5 mole per 1,000 cm cube. Therefore, you will now say 1,000 cm cube is equivalent to 0 0.5 mole. Then the question is said 200. Then 200 cm cube equals S. So you cross multiply S times 1,000 cm cube equals 0 0.5 mole times 200 cm cube. S will now be 0 0.5 mole times 200 cm cube over 1000 cm cube. The unit will go, go with the unit, then this 2 zero goes with this 2 zero. this time this will be 0, 1.0 mole over 10, this is equal to 0 0.1 mole. This is the first answer you have. Then look at the question, they say calculate the mass of potassium. Therefore, you now say mass concentration equals molar concentration times molar mass. I will know that the molar mass is K O H you are looking for. And the, this molar concentration, we have already got it as 0 0.1 mole times molar mass, potassium is 39 plus 16 plus 1. Which is 0 0.1 mole times this gram per mole, don't forget, times 56 gram per mole. Mole will cancel more. We have 0 0.1 times 56 gram, which gives you 5.6 gram. So this is the first calculation, which is to calculate the mass of potassium hydroxide needed to prepare to rest in was 0 0.5 mole. So this is the mass of potassium hydroxide you require to be paid. Having done this, let's go to the second question. Have any issue with this kind of calculation? Do well to comment. I will respond immediately. The second calculation says one volume of 0 0.5 molar ACL will neutralize 25 cm cube or 0 0.2 molar KOH. One secret about this is this. Can we look at the first one? Only one compound is mentioned. Only a, a, a base, an alkaline solution was mentioned. But the second one, you have an acid, you have a base. Therefore, the simplest way of carrying it out is a, a acid-base titration, which is actually neutralization because this is strong acid and this is strong base. So you do that by using a stoichiometric equation. Let's see it. HCl, you say equation, plus KOH. To give you KCl plus H2O. The mole ratio of acid to base one ratio one. Then you now apply the formula. Applying the formula C A B A over C B V B equals N A over N B where remember any student that is able to break it down, put it one by one. And fill it, fill it in. We never miss the substitution. C A V A C B V B N A N B. 
CA is already giving the question. What volume of 0 0.5 molar is here? 0 0.5 molar or 0 0.5 mole per dmq. We already explained the first question. We neutralize the vice sink of 0 0.2 molars. VA, you don't know, that's what you are looking for. CB is 25 cmq. VB, sorry, CB is 0 0.2 molar, while VB is 25 cmq. Mole ratio is 1 to 1. That's the mole ratio of acid to base one ratio. After writing the next is to substitute. You have 0 0.5 times VA over CB 0 0.2 times 25, which gives you 1 over 1. Check it where 0 0.2 is very correct. Then you now cross multiply. 0 0.5 times VA times 1 equals 1 times 0 0.2 times 25. This one now becomes VA times 0 0.5 equals 0 0.2 times 25. Let's complete it here. Now make VA sorry for formula. VA equals 0 0.2 times 25 over 0 0.5. Can calculate it directly. Then for accuracy, let's use our calculators to find it out. 0 0.2 times 25. Give you 5. Divide by 0.5 give you 10. So the final answer this one will give you is 10 cmq. That is that's the evaluation of the expression. So you have one volume of 0 0.5 molar is here. We neutralize 25 cmq was 0 0.2 molar POH solution is 10 cmq. Remember in most of your examination bodies, they don't bring this, they will bring this one. So we go to the third one. Remember if you have any Comments, go to the comment section and um, we'll reply you. I'll reply immediately. The third one says calculate the volume of water that will be added to 80 cm cube of 0 0.2 mole per dmq HNO3. This has nitric acid. I think you already know that. To dilute it to 0 0.08 mole per dmq. As you can see, this one is you use the dilution formula, which is CA, C, T1, V1, C2, V2. Here, C1 equals initial concentration. V1 equals initial volume. C2 equals final concentration. Y V2 equals final volume. Now let's fill in the values. Calculate the volume of water that will be added to 80 cm cube of 0 0.2 mole per d this to dilute it to that. Then initial volume is 80 cm cube of 0 0.2 0 0.2 mole per d m cube. Final is 0 0.8 mole per d m cube. You don't know this. So, say so calculate the volume of water. So, to calculate the volume of water, you have to calculate the final volume first. Then, now say substitute. Then, you now into the expression. C1 is 0 0.2 times V1 AT equals C2 0 0.8 times V2. Remember, in all the examination bodies, as far as Nigeria is concerned, if you are substituting, you must be very careful. You can see C1 is 0 0.2. V1 is 80. If trying to sort you say you are very fast while you are writing your exam, and you change it, you say it doesn't matter. It matters in chemistry very, very well, both in practical and theory. You must not, even though it will give you the same answer, we don't accept it. You must not put 80 before this. You must follow the formula properly. Then you now say V2, making you the formula equals 0 0.2 times 80 over 0 0.8. Let's use calculator for accuracy purpose. You have uh, 0 0.2 times 80 give you 16 divided by 0 0.8. This one will give you 20. Let's do it again. 
zero point two times eighty will give you sixteen. Okay. Divide by zero point eight will give you twenty. Correct? So you now have twenty. Twenty cm cube. You see it? So that is what we have. Sorry, 0 0.08. Ah, very sorry about that. It's 0 0.08. So the substitution is 0 0.08. 0 0.08. Because oh, one thing has to give us one thing. So let's do the calculation again. 0 0.2 times 80 will give you 16. Divide by 0 0.08 give you 200. This is the total answer. So this one gives you 200 cm cube. This is the final volume we have. But the question says calculate the volume of water that will be that will be added to 80. So the initial, you remove the initial from this. Whatever volume of water you have is what you, you added to this. So you say initial volume is 80 cm cube. Final volume is 200 cm cube. Therefore, volume that will be added is 200 cm cube minus 80 cm cube, which gives you 120 cm cube. So, this is the volume that must be added to this 80 cm cube in order to produce this 0 0.08 to 0 .0 more per day. This is how you carry out some simple calculations involving uh, standard solutions which are commonly encountered in chemistry. Please, thank you for, uh, for uh, viewing this channel. Please do well again to subscribe to this channel. God bless you. Thank you very much. We'll meet in our next video.